hello friends uh, today we want to start a part of the immunology that is pamp damp and prr yesterday i have uploaded a video that where we have discussed that the main part of the immunology is antigen i have already told that antigen is the main part without antigen we cannot activate our antibody or immunological part so antigen is the main part of our immunology we have created many antibodies because we want to capture the antigen so without antigen antibodies cannot be activated antigens are not only that any small particles it can be the large particle or we if you can say that antigen may be various types like uh, antigen may be cells and virus cells and virus you you could say that it is an antigen or you can say any molecule that also create many effect in our body like cells and virus you can say these are many types like you can easily say that prion is one of the main type prion is one of the main type and the smallest molecule that can activate it as antigen that can act as antigen virus that can act as antigen fungus that can act as antigen plant products like pollen grains that can act as antigen parasites parasites they may be single cellular or multicellular that can act as antigen and uh, multicellular single cellular many types of parasites can act as a like multicellular you can uh, say that multicellular parasite is like worm and single cellular parasite is like plasmodium vivax that can cause malaria in our body many small and large molecules that can also create or act as a antigen like you can say that small molecules large molecules like proteins if you many of many people who cannot intake prawn as because proteins may create as antigenic effect in their body or you can say that can act as an allergen in the similar way carbohydrates carbohydrates act as antigen like bacterial carbohydrate bacterial cell wall carbohydrates nucleic acids single cellular dna that can act as a antigen or any medicine if you take any medicine that can act as a antigen so uh, antigen is the main part so we have already discussed here that antigen and to um, capture antigen we have created antibody in our body and the reaction between antigen and antibody is immunological reaction and there are two type of immunological reactions are there in our body uh, we have already discussed there are five types of antibody like iga ig g ig m igd and ig e uh, in spite of that um, there are uh, antigen antibody reaction you can say as immunological reaction and there are mainly two type of immunological reaction 
reaction happened in our body one is innate innate immunity and another is adaptive immunity we have all know that innate immunity is an inborn immunity and uh, you can say that innate immunity innate immunity is very important in our body and it is non specific it acts in a specific manner and adaptive immunity you can you can say adaptive immunity is an uh, immunity that is when antigen once attack your body then the antibody is activated and that is one type of adaptive immunity adaptive immunity is fully dependent on and adaptive immunity is very specific we want to discuss this matter here the adaptive immunity is a very specific immunity that can uh, adaptive immunity is very specific it act in a specific manner so so innate immunity and adaptive immunity are these two types of immunity we have discussed here so uh, even in innate immunity like uh, you can say uh, what are the there are some receptors in our body that can uh, recognize the internal antigen part like toll like receptor tlr or you can say n formyl methionine n formyl methionine methionine receptor or you can say mannose receptor not that mannose receptor mannose 6 phosphate this is one kind of carbohydrate found in the bacterial cell wall and scavenger receptor these all these receptors are we can say that these all receptors are non specific and these are toll like receptors and sorry these are the innate receptor and adaptive you can say uh, in case of adaptive immunity adaptive immunity in case of adaptive immunity there are specific receptor like immunoglobulins IgG or T cell receptors which are present in the uh, plasma or blood cells so uh, there are two main type of immunological reaction occurred in our body that is one is innate that is inborn and non-specific and adaptive that is activated after the infection in our body and that is very much specific and there are some receptors which are present in the innate or non-specific immunity that is toll-like receptor informal methionine mannose receptor and scavenger receptors in the similar way adaptive immunity have uh, immunoglobulin and T cell receptor which are very specific and particularly activated against the specific antigen so you can say that there are two types of immunity now uh, we want to um, discuss today about the the matter that is PRR what is PRR the full form is PRR is pattern recognition receptor pattern recognition receptor and this pattern recognition receptor who is this pattern recognition receptor or PRR we have told that in the non-specific immunity the toll like receptor informal methionine receptor mannose receptor scavenger receptor these are the pattern recognition receptor these they can uh, particularly recognize a particular type of receptor and in the previous year West Bengal said there is a type of question based on this type that P, what is PRR or some kind of question have already uh, they have thrown to us that PRR how they function in a similar way and another term that is PAM PAMP is a 
pathogen associated molecular pattern pathogen associated molecular pattern pathogen associated molecular pattern and pathogen associated molecular pattern and if you tell about damp we have this today our topic is PAM damp and PRA damage associated molecular pattern damage associated molecular pattern so uh, the receptors are the receptor which can recognize the internal or external part of the uh, antigen in our body this kind of receptor these receptors are known as pattern recognition receptors and PAMP is the part that pathogen associated molecular pattern the kind of product or substance that is created by the pathogen in our body and this pattern recognition receptor recognize this PAMP when they saw some kind of molecular substance in our body that they cannot recognize as the uh, molecules of our body then they attach with them and activate our immunity or immunological system in the similar way uh, you can I can say that um, what are the PAMPs uh, we want to discuss about the PAMP here that uh, PAMPs are uh, as for example we can say the microbial substance that stimulate the innate immunity the microbial substance that in stimulate our innate immunity are called PAMPs the PAMPs are like uh, SSRNA SSRNA is an example ASSRNA DSRNA CPG these are all found from the virus and these are all the example of PAMPs not only they uh, you can also say that proteins like pilin protein pilin protein flagellin protein flagellin protein these are found from bacteria these are called these are the examples of PAMP because they are not found the they are not the molecules found in our body in the similar way cell wall like LPS lipopolysaccharides uh, lipoticoic acid lipoticoic acid these are all the substances we found from gram positive and gram negative bacteria these are not the substance of our human body and the carbohydrate like Menon, Dectin, these are all found from fungi, and these these are the um, these are the all examples of PAMPs. So, if we discuss about the examples of PAMP, we also here discuss about the example of damp. What are the examples of damp damps are the damage associated molecular pattern any damage substance that are present in our body but not expressed outside the cell the substance that are normally present inside the cell not expressed outside the cell that are called damps like damps you can say the examples of damps like stress induced stress induced protein maybe the is the example maybe not is the example of like heat shock proteins are the examples of damp crystals crystals are the examples of damp like monosodium urate these are the example of damps because these are present in our body but not in a normal phase they are always present inside our cell but when any 
body parts are affected they are expressed outside the cell then our immunological system become activated and these are the damp and pattern recognition receptors then recognize this pattern nuclear protein nuclear protein these are also the damp like high mobility group box 1 protein hbm1 protein so from the discussion if we uh, summarize the full discussion that uh, the antigen is the main part of our body uh, antigen is the main part of immunological system because our antibody has been created to capture the antigen without antigen antibody remain inactive and uh, to activate our antibody antigen is a very essential part and today's topic we have told that PAMP, DAMP and PRR PRR are pattern recognition receptors that are the receptors which recognize or capture the antigen pattern like receptors like pattern recognition receptors are like uh, they are present in limited diversity and encoded in the germ line like toll like receptor n formal methionine receptor found in bacteria manoj receptor scavenger receptor and we found this kind of receptor in the innate immunity and immune innate immunity is inborn immunity and is very non-specific it can activate it against any of the antigen an antigen may be small molecule antigen may be large molecule antigens are various types antigen may be the prion antigen may be the nucleic acid medicine in the similar way adaptive immunity is the immunity that activated when our body is infected with some antigen once like TCR immunoglobulin are the adaptive immunity and they are very specific and uh, like PAMP we can PAMP are the parts that are pathogen associated molecular pattern that's are the parts found from the pathogen like nucleic acid we found small single stranded RNA double stranded RNA uh, CPG island found from virus bacteria uh, these are present nucleic acid protein pilin protein flagellin protein in found in bacteria cell wall lipid like liposaccharide ticoic acid found in gram negative and gram positive bacteria menon carbohydrate dectin glucans are found from fungi so these are the products found from the pathogen so we can say these are the pathogen associated molecular pattern when these kinds of products are found in our body uh, our uh, antibody remain become activated because these are not not the normal part of our body like single standard dna present in the cytoplasm single standard dna is not found in the normal human body so you can take pamp is the product that is found from the pathogen so it is known as pathogen associated molecular pattern pathogen part is known as PAMP and normal damage body parts damage body parts is known as DAMPs so this is today's discussion that we can say that um, very small part here we have discussed that PAMP at DAMP uh, thank you guys for watching this video uh, if you like this video if you uh, want to see this uh, if you see this video please like and subscribe my channel thank you very much